You ready? You ready for this? Look at that. Nice giant chunk. Oh, I'm so glad we came uh -oh. over here. <laughs> nice. I'm looking for these flat, shiny surfaces. Nice. I really love when I find random flint like this in my pocket. So I got a whole pocket full of flint here with 15 minutes of walking around. So this spot looked good from space for rocks. And right here is a giant, giant block. Oh, Leah just found a good little piece. That's a definite flint. Yeah, that's a good piece. A little tiny piece, so I'm gonna leave it. And Leah found something good in the water too. What do we got? Nice piece. Super nice piece. The water is cold. Yep, the rock is freezing my hand. That's a nice spear point right there. So, nice. It's all underwater though. Come back here. Yeah, I'll come back to the spot when there's a drought or something. <laughs> All right, on to the next spot. That's some really clear water. Wow, pretty. So there is flint here too. I'm finding that there is flint in most places in the northeast here. I see a piece right there. See that? It's small. Right there. Right there. Alright. I am driving. Let me close the window. I am driving. It's starting to get dark. And I haven't picked a campsite yet again. I was looking at freecampsites.net and uh, I'm not seeing a whole lot. A bunch of like Lowe's parking lots and stuff like that. So I think I'm going to try to find a state forest that I could camp in. And we'll see. But it is getting dark. So I'm going to be just driving aimlessly in the dark. Okay, I'll check back in. Why is my nose red? It's not that cold. What the heck? There is some cool places here and cool looking campgrounds, but they're all closed for the season. It's like the start of November. I don't know why everything's closed. It's not that cold yet. Gas stations are open, but they have no coffee whatsoever. Uh, the one person said there is a coffee shortage. So, um, I'm in trouble. Okay, that's enough. Good morning. Day three. <sighs> It's literally a logging road. There's a uh, right there. And off these logging roads are little called primitive campsites. And this one has more than most usually do. It has a table. 
<laughs> All along this logging road are these little primitive campsites with a picnic table and a fire pit. And you could stay here for up to for up to 13 days. It's pretty cool. But uh, I'm heading west more, so I'm gonna get back in the car and, and head out. I just wanted to show you what it looked like. It's literally just in the middle of a huge patch of wilderness with logging roads. The roads are clear. You could drive down them. They're really well kept because the trucks keep coming down. And uh, they actually even have porter pots way in the back that I stumbled across. All right, so I gotta get driving. I'll see you guys soon. So you can see how well <clears throat> taken care of the logging roads are here. It's literally, the name of the road is called Logging Road. <laughs> logging Road. Logging Road 8. Pretty cool. Sorry, I had the, uh, the heat on. It's freezing. Yeah, there's a... Here's one of the logging areas. Pull in here for a minute. They just leave them and pick them up and they chop an area. Also, my Patreon people <coughs> paid for this little dash cam. So now when I'm recording, well, when I'm driving and I see something really scenic that I want to put in the videos or something very dangerous that I want to put in the videos. I just hit the enter key and it starts recording. So that's pretty cool. So thanks guys, I appreciate it. walking in the path here and I'm seeing what looks like flint that's on Daga <laughs> seriously Smell it? Hold on. Here, smell that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. It smells like oil. Yep. Alright, I'm going to take this the path. piece. So. Okay, here's another one. All right, so to explain this, I look on Google Earth for an area that has a lot of rock pouring out of any, any, any waterway, like a river or a creek. And when you see that, it's worth investigating. But I also look at uh, geology maps to see where Flint might be. So I look for limestone limestone areas because limestone usually has some flint in it and as you see right here this is limestone and flint now to explain this in the pathway they use they make gravel out of limestone but they don't care that there's flint mixed into the limestone and they throw it along pathways or places people walk so that's another thing to look out for. If you see flint in a pathway or limestone even, like this right here, it's worth going and looking in a creek. There's a creek right there. So I'm gonna walk over and check that out. So right here, I see a bedrock of, that actually looks like shale or slate. And across the way, it's definitely slate. But right here, this white rock is, it looks like either limestone or 
flint, but that's uh, that's holding the whole wall up, so I'm not going to touch that. It's for the waterfall. And a ton of black walnuts. Sounds like a waterfall up there, too. Let me see if it smells. It smells like creek mud. <laughs> but that's a that's good a flint. Good oh. Cool. This is big enough to make a knife out of. That's a big chunk. I don't see any damage in it either. Just right here, a little bit. Nice. Nice. Right here, look. So one of the reasons I probably found flint down there, because I'm not seeing any more, if you look at the plants here in the water, they're all pressed down. And it looks like a big raging flood came through here. So, since I found it at the edge of the creek flowing in, the flint is probably that way. So I'll go look that way. I'm gonna check a little bit more down here and then head out. All right, you gotta do something, guys. Sniff it. Sniff this rock. Sniff it now. Smell that? Smells like trash oil. It's wonderful. <laughs> so weird. Black walnut. So this, as far as I know, is not Onondaga. It's uh, more of like an Isopus. Isopus? I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, this stuff will work just as good. And this is a huge freaking store for me. That's a knife by itself. I could make that into a nice knife. But I really want the smelly stuff. <laughs> Where's the smelly stuff? I need, so, like, for years now, I've only been finding pieces this big. I want to find something bit this big out of the smelly stuff. I don't know why I can't find it.
It's huge. All right, so here is another primitive campsite that I stumbled across. The only problem is it's in the middle of a trail. So there's a trail there and it goes right up that way. However, I went right over here, right on the uh, logging road side here, and came across this. It's all split in half and it's all flint. This whole chunk is flint. It's not very good flint. It's very uh, flaky, cracked in cubes. And somebody's been whacking at it. I think what happened was they were looking for rocks for the fire ring because uh, all this stuff is along the whole fire ring. Funny. It's got a lot of damage in it. If there's anything here that isn't entirely damaged at all. It's all it's all damaged. I mean even deep inside the rock you could see it's cracked and crumbled and cubes. I forget the term for when it uh fractures into cubes like that. So, that's interesting. The whole top layer there is, is flint. Alright. I'm not sure if I'm staying at this one or not. See this here. That's the flint. In the fire pit, it's burned. There's some more. And they burned a hammock or something. Alright, we'll look around some more. is I just can't get to it right now so that's gonna be a future episode as of right now I am gonna continue looking around to see if I can find any different kinds of chert and exciting locations look at this they put a big X in the sky look at that what are they doing X marks the spot You ready? You ready for this? Look at that. Nice giant chunk. Oh, I'm so glad we came uh -oh. over here. <laughs> nice. I'm looking for these flat, shiny surfaces. Nice. I really love when I find random flint like this in my pocket. So I got a whole pocket full of flint here with 15 minutes of walking around. I decided to, uh, it's fall now. It's cold, it's like 20 degrees. Well, it's 25 now. Last night, I got in late last night, as usual, and uh, just car camp this time. I slept in the back of the car, and it was very, very, very cold. I'm glad I had zero degree weather sleeping bags. But decided to come down and look for Flint, see what I could find along stretches here in the mountains. 
and I'm just going to explore around and see what I can find. I'm going to be heading west. So I was looking at this piece of limestone right here. And I glanced up the rock line here and found some pretty high quality flint. Test it. Yeah, that's pretty high quality. I'm keeping this piece. Cool. Look at all the frost. Sometimes it's hard to see it because the stuff has limestone mixed in. Here's a piece of limestone. Here's a piece of flint with limestone in it. So you can see how similar that looks. And then here you have the flint. It's just a little tiny piece. About half of this is flint. If you put side by side, you can see limestone flint limestone here's a bunch more some right here this piece right here right next to limestone that's a pretty big piece I'm gonna take that this is also flint but it's very very low quality and has a lot of flaws in it so I don't really like to use this stuff I always look for the higher quality lower quality flint this looks really low quality I got my giant copper lead filled bopper this time very 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 low quality limestone here a little bit of flint there see this too next to it Let's see it's chunky crystally it'll work though this is all no good this whole section here there's only a line of good going through it it only goes about halfway. So, I'll show a little bit of a comparison here. I mean, this has dirt on it, but you can see the smooth surface here and here. But if you look at this and you see that one crack going through, that would flake off compared to this gray. And you can see the lines running through it. And you could see how this would not work too well for flint napping. It would work for flint and steel, but this would be better for flint napping. You could see it's two different materials. This one's gray blue, this one's dark gray. Just 
check this out. If you're out here and you find something that you're unsure of, the best way to test it is to take a corner off. So what I like to do is hold underneath and hit and look. If I can't tell from that, I'll take the whole corner off by hitting straight down. And I'll do that, I'll do that here. You see how this ledge is aimed like that? Like that? So what I'll do, so what I'll do is I'll hit right in this ledge, like almost straight down to test it. And not flint. Some kind of slate or shale. But that's the way I test it. Either that or I just snap the whole thing in half. Like, like that. As I was doing that, I glanced up here and saw something. There it is. Good piece of flint right here. Tumbled chunk. You don't even have to flake that to tell it's flint. I'm gonna leave this one though, it's tiny. Can't tell. I can't tell if this is good quality or not. Looks like no. It is okay. It's a rough flint, it's not fine grained. So I'm gonna take this piece, let me test the other side. Very rough. This looks like limestone there and Yeah. That's limestone. You can see it kind of mixed yeah. in right here. Yeah, so there might just be a little bit of flint in here. I'm, so I'm not gonna take this piece of half of it as limestone. I'll just leave it. So what I'm doing here, um I'm going to check in all the creeks and head west over the mountains, through the mountains, and I'm going to be looking for uh, Anadaga chert. And that stuff smells like oil. And uh, in my previous videos, I did find a few small pieces of that, but I never found any in the mountains here. So I'm going to see where that line starts as I'm just looking around. There's gray flint right here. Look at this. I've not seen this either, so I don't know what this is. Let's see. Might just be the same stuff, I don't know. High quality. Super smooth, super glittery, glossy. If I could find a big piece of that, that'd be great. I mean, if there's little pieces, there's big pieces, probably just like three feet down underneath all this stuff washed up. I'll keep looking. So this here is a medicinal plant that's been used for thousands of years. If you know what it is, put it in the comments. And even better yet, if you know what it was used for, put it in the comments. It's a fluffy plant. Soft fluff. Woot, woot, woot. So I just quickly looked over the whole topsoil here, the top layer. Didn't didn't kick any rocks over or dig down any, just on top. And I found two decent pieces. I don't see anything big here. So I'm gonna keep heading west following the creeks. I'm gonna head towards the Great Lakes. Let's see if I can find some Onondaga. Found some more of that. This actually looks like higher quality. That gray stuff, let's see what this side looks like. Yeah, I will take that piece. That's a good piece. That's probably a good piece right next to it. 
take those. These are perfect for uh, spear points and small knives. These will work great. It's got a little bit of limestone in it. The flint starts right here. You can see the line of where it starts. That's all limestone. So this would make a good knife, actually. That's a decent size. This is the highest quality I've found of this gray-blue stuff. So that's really exciting. I've been looking for this gray-blue stuff, and uh, it's usually in small little pockets and not really able to be napped into a knife arrowhead spear point. Another piece. Yep, that's kind of a weird shape with a lot of limestone. Yeah, that's how we usually find it. It just is really chunky. This is what I usually find. But you have a big nice... pocket of limestone, chunky and small. What you just found is like a nice slab of it. Here's more. That's a good arrowhead size. Spear point. Okay, that is awesome. I really love when I find random flint like this. I'll keep looking. In my pocket. So I got a whole pocket full of flint here. With 15 minutes of walking around. It only took me 15 minutes to find all that good flint. Sometimes you come to a spot like this and you don't find anything at all. But you can't find it if you don't look. So look, I'm happy I did. I was just gonna, I was just gonna leave, and I looked down, and she found some actually. I don't see any more. I'll keep looking though. Fossil. What is it? I think that's a fossil. I'm not sure. Yes, fossil. Some kind of worm in the limestone. There's more up here too. Little tiny shells and stuff. More of the gray here. I'm looking for these flat, shiny surfaces. Nice. Yep. Taking that. In my pocket, there's a giant piece under this. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, nice. Ooh. There's some more yeah. little, little one and some chunks. Yeah, I'm taking this. See what I could get out of it. It's an arrowhead. That's an arrowhead. And Leah carries the big rocks. There you go. Enjoy that. Spotted a good, good piece of the black. Black point. Right here. Nice giant chunk. Oh, I'm so glad we came oh. over here. <laughs> nice. Oh, wow. That's a keep. See, you can see this is limestone. Yep. And then that's the flint. That's, that's pretty high quality. It does have some damage. But I'll be able to get lots of spear points and arrowheads out of this. Nice. You carry the big rocks. Here you go. Here you go. You got that? Muscles? Muscles. I'm not going to go too much further here. So I see one more piece right down there. Right at the last little, little bit here. Oh, 
Always be careful coming down these. You don't want to twist your ankle. It's a pretty good piece. Pretty high quality. Pretty solid. I don't see many flaws. There's a bunch of limestone right here. Nice. All right. I have some acid reflux. <laughs> Coffee did it. Okay, so I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna head out and I'm gonna keep exploring and see what other different kinds of flint and chert I could find. Different colors, different material. All right. All right, so one of the problems that I've had is determining flint and high quality limestone because it looks really similar you know especially if it's wet so you just test the limestone and you can see how grainy that is so that's super super grainy compared to super super smooth and shiny this is not shiny this is dull and grainy you can nap it it will work. It's very brittle, it's very tough. This stuff is very sharp and very shiny. Here's more. So again, it kind of looks like limestone. This might actually be Onondaga. Hold on a second. Hold on. That is not Onondaga. It mm. looks like it though. That's what Onondaga kind of looks like, that white gray. But this is the same flint as this, it's just weathered differently. Okay. So I can't even move two feet here. I saw this, so I was like, oh, limestone. I saw this, so I was like, oh, limestone. And my foot hit it, and it's flint. It's a big chunk of flint. It's high quality flint. I'll actually show you how high quality this is. See, it looks, it looks like junk, right? You ready? You ready for this? Surprise, mother You see what I mean? Super high quality. Okay. Fossil. Right there. Shells. So I have no idea on this creek here what I'm looking for, but I see a little piece of quartz in this rock. You see that? Just a little tiny nugget. And I have no idea, so I'm just going to test whatever rocks look like they could possibly have something in it. Limestone. And I'm going to test the different areas of the rock too, because that's all limestone. So this spot's going to be difficult to determine what's what if the limestone looks like that. Keep looking. I think that's a toilet pipe. Ew. That's probably what that is. Ew. Hey, that's weird, then. What is that? That's a conglomerate. The heck? It's a weird stone. Let's see something that looks different here. It's pretty big. This looks like it might be a quartzite. 
test. That's a quartzite. Keep looking. So I'm not finding a whole lot here. And um, I'm actually not too far from where I was at the other location where I found a lot. But here's limestone with flint in it. You can see a tiny bit of flint right there. All kinds of crud here. Limestone. So it's just little nodules of flint here. Um, these stones here are good grindstones and hammer stones for flint napping as well as like if you need to grind up roots or grind up other tools or grind slate these these cobbles will do very well they're very rough like sandpaper good for uh, survival bushcraft tools so there's also naturally shaped stones like this if you really need to grind something you could find a flat rock like that and start grinding into it eventually it'll make a hole and then you have a mortar and pestle and i've used these before for uh, crushing dandelion root and such and it works really really well here's another one right next to it would work really well like that you could also peck a hole into this with another rock like if you just keep going like that and grind a hole in there and then as you start using this it'll work really well found a little piece of tumbled glass and put that on a necklace pretty I'm up. Maybe right here. This is a probably not actually. No. Not if it caves in like that. It's just got some in there. Got a little little tiny bit of maybe. Like right there. So not so good at this location. A nugget of something. Don't know. Quartz. And quartz. Alright, I am driving about an hour west now. Not much in that creek at all. Little, little tiny nuggets. That's it. Alright. To the road. So. They boarded up the sulfur spring. You could still hear it. Ugh. It smells, man. It still really stinks even with the... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yuck. All right. So that's disgusting still. I forgot how disgusting that was. It's been a while since I've been here. No, just <laughs> I had the same exact reaction when I was here last time. I got that on video too. Open to eighteen twenty. Man, this thing really really stinks. That hotel across the way says vacancy. Mm. 
wonder why it says vacancy. Okay. So now that I'm away from that smell, oh man, I'm not going back there again. I'm not revisiting that anymore. No, that's a bad time. Uh-uh. All right. I am going to go look for some diamonds or something. <clears throat> diamonds and flint. We'll see. So middle of the farms and I just see this sticking out of the trees. What the heck? Let me go see what that is. That's odd. So, cool. So, it's a monastery and a Russian history museum. I just walk around a little bit. the temple grounds here. Crazy. Let's go look around a little bit. Look at that. Alright, I'm actually just gonna walk around a little bit here and wow. This is a uh, really surprising here. Just saw this sticking out of the farms in the distance. Crazy. So this is an active church and monastery here. I'm unsure if I want to peek my head in or not. Oh wow. All right, so um, I just took off, it's right there. So, all right, so I did not go in. Uh, it said to, to enter, uh, I have to request assistance and uh, I think I had to like <clears throat> be properly uh, 
dressed or something to go in. I'm, I'm not sure. So I just, uh, I just bailed. Interesting now. What'd you find? Lint. Oh, look at that. I saw this little piece. Like that grayish. It's not on a daga. It's got like banding. Yeah, it's like green, color. gray, blue. That's cool. Wow. I've not seen I've not seen this kind before. So mixed in with the limestone. Wow, that's a really, really high quality plant. In my pocket. Mine. All right, so now I know what I'm looking for. So this, look, this looks a little different. Oh, wow. White flint. Look at that. I'll take a flake off. It's like freeze damaged in size a little bit. Yep. That is uh, super high quality though. It's just damaged. If I take another flake off, it might look a little better. So white flint in New York. That's more damaged up there, but it's the uh, chalky stuff. Yep. I'll put these flakes in my pocket. There we go. Okay, coming with me. So that's two different kinds on this in the same general area here. Okay. okay. I found this here. I saw that little bit of shiny we took a few hits and it's like a super high quality quartzite I did want to try over here where the color is yeah this blend in there nice. cool all different kinds here Keep looking. Got two pieces here. Got this, which is definitely flint, but it's not such high quality. That is flint. It's just damaged. Let's see if I could get this piece off. Cool. That's a weird looking flint. There we go. Yeah. Flint with damage. seem to be an awful lot here but I did find some here uh, it's small pieces small cobbles of extremely high quality stuff I wonder which way it's coming from 
The river is flowing that way, so it's probably coming from up there. Yeah, I don't see a whole lot here. Keep looking now. That looks like a limestone to me, but it's a lighter gray limestone. Yeah, that's a limestone. Very, very high quality limestone though. Let me try another section. No, this is actually flint. This tricked me. This is flint. It's just the same color as the limestone. So that's three different vari varieties right here. Huh. Crazy. It smells like gunpowder. <laughs> Smell it? Gunpowder. Alright, my pockets are getting cut. I'll try another piece because of that last piece of flint that looked like limestone. 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 It looks the same on the outside. Yeah, it looks the same as the other stuff, but this is limestone. Hmm. One of the ways I've been able to tell limestone is these weird ripples in it, as well as it's just super grainy. days now just looking at this I'm starting to get rock blind again I can't tell what's what and when I look up everything's moving all weird like so if anybody's wondering what this is this is a it's a ferro rod and a little piece of ceramic. And it's made by Wazoo Survival Gear. And what you do, I'll show you. you pull this down. And then you take this. And you can start a fire with it. So that's an awesome bit of uh, survival gear that you could get for yourself from Wazoo Survival Gear. Go check that out. I'll put the link somewhere like here or down in the comments or in the description or something. I don't know. It's it's a fun little thing. I always start fires with it and it's, it's, it's fun. I like it. Yep. Uh, I just don't want to leave because I would love to make something out of something big out of this kind of stuff that is really pretty okay onwards So I found the only place in this section of the state that has any kind of coffee. So I got two of them. Uh, I got a headache. So uh, caffeine and Tylenol. Sun's going down. Uh, I found some promising locations today, but I need to look into them more. Um, there is some creeks around here that I could get down to, but they are flooded. So I can't see anything in them right now. I'm going to look for some roadside stuff, I think. We'll see. As of right now, the sun's going down, and I'm not sure where to go. 
I love stopping at places like these. Especially when you can just see what you're looking for right there. So when you look at geological maps, this is the kind of stuff you find. Look at this. Wow. That is super high quality. I was expecting this to be a longer video, but found what I was looking for, found more than what I was looking for, and I'm going to have to ask questions about this. Stay tuned, I guess. Showing this. The whole bedrock here is flint. This is all flint. This is huge, and it goes all the way out to the drop-off here. Jay, did you come over here? Oh my god. Jay, have you seen this? It's a whole outcrop. Huge outcrop. Look up here. Cool. I am shooketh. So I saw just this cobble laying. It's not smacked or any anything. Interesting colors. It's got some red and blue and green. Yellow. Hmm. Oh, shit. This is not dirty, be careful. This is some of that slate stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Really crumbly. But all that is went down in the hole. There's a big chunk of green down there. There's a huge block of solid green. What the heck? This is not in any book. This is not. So when you look at geological maps, this is the kind of stuff you find. Look at this. Wow. That is super high quality. This has some faults in it.
marked block. No idea. I'm going to have to ask questions about this one. Look at this. I mean, look at this thing behind me here. Look at this whole piece. just went everywhere. I mean, a lot of it is very old, so it's crumbling into nothing. Like, you can't use it. See that? I don't know what else to say. I'm, like, in shock here. Stay tuned, guys. So I'm going to check to see if any of it is uh, nappable. Got a little hammer stone. A little ringy. You hear that ringy bell? That's either high quality limestone or this has splint in it. I'm not sure yet. That's a high quality limestone. You can nap that. That is razor sharp. It's just, uh, it's brittle. So like if you're using that as a tool, you're going to have to resharpen it, re it a lot. But you could see it comes off in a conchoidal fracture, just like flint, except this is limestone. Alright, so I got a, a piece of brown here, and I know in the area here, the brown is sometimes flint, sometimes it's basalt. I, don't, I won't know till I crack it open. So we'll see what we got here. Flint, flint. See that? This is a, uh, it's called a shale flint. It's not as shiny or perfect as most flints. This has more shale than flint, but you hear that ringing? Almost like a bell? If you hear that when you're testing rocks, it's worth investigating and cracking into, because you might be able to find something that, like this alone, can be used as a knife. If you're fishing in a creek like this, you catch a fish, you want to cut it open, Got it, just use the flake. Works works perfectly. I'm gonna keep this piece. Keep looking. I see black and brown and a lot of white and limestone. So it just takes some experimentation of cracking them open and seeing what's inside. Nope. That was a trickery. covered in sludge. Limestone. Well, here's a, not, a bigger, nice piece, but it's damaged. It's got other stuff in it. So if we crack it here, see that crud? Now if I take a flake off from this edge, That's a higher quality flint, but it's got all damage in there. 
It's very old. I'm happy with this. I wonder if this is Onondaga. I don't know. It smells like mud. All right, I'm out. right there amazing wildlife management area right there this is all hunting area hunting and fishing and apparently there's huge trout in here cool I love stopping at places like these especially when you could just see what you're looking for right there I'm just going to go and look at all this parking lot rock. See this, the uh, on this piece here, the whole top layer of limestone peeled off. So now you're just left with the flint, but it's very, very weathered. See, it's cracked and in pieces. This piece might be good, but if you tried to nap this, it would probably fall apart. Your best bet is to find something that just washed out, that hasn't been sitting in the elements for a very long time. Something that just washed out of a wall somewhere into one of these creeks and rivers, and then you're good to nap it. Okay guys, I am gonna keep checking out these little state land areas here. It says no camping, that sucks. I would love to camp somewhere like this. Okay, ruffed grouse is here. They have ruffed grouse here. That is not something we have in Connecticut, I don't think. So I might keep this area in mind for hunting. Okay, so here's another thing, these areas. Sport fishing and wildlife restoration. This is important, most people don't know this. Funded by your purchase of hunting and fishing equipment and motorboat motor fuels, as well as your hunting license and your fishing license, make huge places like this possible. Hunters and fishermen pay for this. So, thank a hunter. Thank a hunter for state land. Spring turkeys, look at all this. Look at all this information. What the heck, man? I'm filming all of this for myself. So it even has, uh, it even has hook sizes for panfish, ultralight, your rod power. There is lake trout here. There is walleye here and northern pike. That's a freaking amazing. Cool, man. Population of Canada geese. That's my only complaint. That sucks. Okay. All right, I got places to go. I got things to see. I got too many things to see. All right, I'll check back in with you guys. So, salad and um, cheese stick. That is the meals for the day. Leah got some hummus with chips. And I had some mm, oyster tape. And I didn't forget my car smelly stuff. Okay. Sun's going down. Not sure what I'm doing. Mountain food fuel. <laughs> <laughs> Mountain pool. Mountain food fuel. Part two. You're gonna have to watch the older episodes to know what the hell I'm talking about. And thank God they had food. We stopped at a uh, Mountain Town gas station. I was on empty. It was blinking. I was like, please don't, please don't go empty in the middle of the mountains where I have no signal. 
that would not be good but we managed to make it here and uh, we haven't really eaten so we got a salad and some a little bit of junk food I don't think I should have eaten the junk food but that's okay because I didn't eat all day okay I'll finish my meal mm. So we're not actually um, having too much luck finding much uh, that's actually open that we can check out. Uh, a lot of stuff is still closed due to pandemic. So uh, I'm just going to keep driving along the highway here and stopping at random places. And uh, maybe some creeks. There's a nice rock face right there. Rock cuts. Rock cuts is where you want to look to see if you're in the right spot. If you see flint in a rock cut, there's flint in the rivers nearby. So anyway, uh, we're going to continue to a spot that I know has flint, but I want to look at the surrounding area to see if the flint is spread out into different creeks and such. Back to you soon. Guy. <laughs> this guy's name is Tony. Let him go right back. All right, I'm out of here. Success. Randomly found plant. This time just in the woods. This is a really exciting video, guys. Stick around, watch the whole thing, and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. 
if you comment, I will try my best to answer your questions. So if you have a question, feel free to ask. There's a big waterfall right there. Oh, the salamander. Is it? That's a salamander? You see him? Oh, I didn't mean to mess with your house, dude. All right, he's crawling back into the wall. So we stopped at this creek here. I just wanted to look around and see what kind of lithics were here. And got an interesting orangish looking quartzite. And I kidnapped this into something. A really pretty location too, I like it here. There's little fish in the water, there's frogs. I thought I saw something, but right I here I noticed okay, I'm two blocks of what looked to be flint, and that is flint. This is definitely flint, and that is good flint. Very, very cool. The whole pile right here. That is shocking. All right, I'm gonna keep looking around. So all of this right here is flint, but it's very, very tough flint. Cool. Let's test this piece for the heck of it. That is good plant for sure. Cool, cool, cool. Looking at this big chunk here, I don't know how the quality is, but it seems pretty big. It looks like it goes down pretty deep and I don't have any digging tools with me. Went. Wow. Let's test right here. Look at that. Success. Randomly found flint. This time just in the woods. This is a good 50 pound block here. And a worm. No, it's a salamander. Is it? That's a salamander? You see him? Oh, I didn't mean to mess with your house, dude. All right, he's crawling back into the wall. Cool. All right.
So right here I see a giant boulder of flint. The way I can tell is the smooth brown top. The flint here is a brown color. When you crack it open, it's black. So that's a giant chunk of flint. I'm going to keep walking down and see if there's anything that I could actually crack into. That's too big and all I have is a little stone. Let me see your hammer stand. So I got a little washout from downriver here. This stuff was washed in. So I'm going to check to see if any of it is uh, nappable. Got a little hammer stone. A little ringy. You hear that ringy bell? That's either high quality limestone or this has splint in it. I'm not sure yet. That's a high quality limestone. You can nap that. That is razor sharp. It's just, uh, it's brittle. So like if you're using that as a tool, you're going to have to resharpen it, up, resharpen it a lot. But you could see it comes off in a conchoidal fracture, just like flint, except this is limestone. Alright, so I got a, a piece of brown here, and I know in the area here, the brown is sometimes flint, sometimes it's basalt. I, don't, I won't know until I crack it open. So we'll see what we got here. Flint, flint. See that? This is a, uh, it's called a shale flint. It's not as shiny or perfect as most flints. This has more shale than flint, but you hear that ringing? Almost like a bell? If you hear that when you're testing rocks, it's worth investigating and cracking into, because you might be able to find something that, like this alone, can be used as a knife. If you're fishing, in a creek like this, you catch a fish, you want to cut it open, gut it, just use the flake. Works, works perfectly. I'm going to keep this piece. Keep looking. I see black and brown and a lot of white and limestone. So it just takes some experimentation of cracking them open and seeing what's inside. So I'll show you what I mean about ringing. Uh, like if I hit this course, stone here. Sounds very dull. More like a knock. And then if I find something that looks like flint, like this, which is definitely flint. Higher pitched. Ringy. And that's some good flint. It's got some damage in there, but that's flint. One I saw smooth brown and chunky black and it has some fossils in it usually if you see stuff like this in areas with limestone and fossils um, there's different kinds of flint mixed into stuff I might need a bigger hammer stone to do this but different areas will be ringy if there's flint in there and other areas will be dull if there's not you hear that compared to So let's test certain areas of this particular rock here. It does have flint in it, but it's very weathered and not so good. 
Let's see what else is we could get into this piece. I doubt it, but we'll try. Gonna need a bigger hammer stone. I really want to try to get into that to see. It's mostly limestone. There is some flint, but it's not anything wonderful. Nah. All right, I thought that was worth investigating, but it's not. Do you want to check that one? Check this little thing. Where did my other hammer stone go now? Oh, this one. That sounds like a dull ringy. Let's see. That's a shell. Yeah, it's snappable, but it's nothing too high quality. Limestone shell. You can see the glittering in it. So you can nap this, but it's not it's not very high quality. There's my other hammer stone. Nope. That was a trickery. It's covered in sludge. Limestone. Ugh. <laughs> you want it? <laughs> higher quality sound to them. This one here I know is probably going to be good. I'm going to hit right at this ledge here. Super high quality flint. It smells like gunpowder when you hit it. Where'd that flake go? There we go. So that's a keep. I do not know what kind of flint this is. And then we got this here. It has a super ringy sound to it, but it doesn't look so good. So I wanted to test this. limestone with some flint in it. The darker stuff is the flint. The white crumbly stuff is the limestone. I'm going to try the other side. I could see a little bit of flint in there. It's giving you a big problem like this and busting up your hammerstone. It's probably not worth it. I mean, there's a little bit in there. And I'm trying to... Yeah, see that's like freaking concrete in there. So there's probably not a lot of good flint in there. Especially if it's giving you a hard time to crack it. Good flint will pop right off like that other one did. So, this I'm going to leave here. So the reality of this when you're looking, I went all the way up and down this whole creek and only found one really high quality piece. And this is super high quality, so to me this is worth it. It's kind of a banded chert. So I'm going to continue on and see what else I could find. I'm happy with this. I wonder if this is Onondaga. I don't know, it just smells like mud. All right, I'm out.
don't stand too close. There's no underneath you there. Here, we'll throw it up here. All right, this is gonna take some digging. Be back. And we got him. Okay, so there's some good examples here down off this cliff. Some of it is not so good, but it is flint, so if you wanted to use it for uh, fire and steel, this would work for fire starting, for bushcraft. Um, this stuff here is very decayed and not good at all for much of anything. This whole piece is no good, very decayed. Not much flint in it, it's mostly limestone, so I'm going to chuck that back. That could go back. That could go back. This is a good example of what the flint would look like if, when you're looking for it. It comes in um, different forms. This kind runs in veins through limestone, and you can see the limestone here and the limestone on the bottom. And this is, uh, I'm going to call this Eastern Onondaga. Then there's other kinds. And I'm not so sure on this one. This whole piece might be limestone. But this is flint. That's a solid block of flint right here. You can see pieces have been knocked off from tumbling around down there. And that's flint. This is the same kind of flint. Massive boulder that Leah found. Perfect flint. Again, more examples of stuff that's decayed not so good can't can't really use it for anything so throw that back this piece might have some good in it so I'm gonna keep it I see the shiny black here so I'm gonna try to split this in half and make something from it this is uh this is that shale stuff look at this so it'll cut It'll flake, but I don't really like this stuff too much. I'm going to keep it anyway. Let's actually take a piece off. We'll use the flint to knock the flake off. So it does have some good, some good shale flint in there. It's much different than the other kinds. If you look, you can see this is very shiny. And that's kind of dull and it'll work 
it'll shape, it'll cut, it'll flake, it'll make arrowheads, it'll make knives, but it's not as good as the other stuff. This is more of this, that shale stuff. It's more coarse inside. Yeah, definitely coarser inside. This I'm going to toss back. Can't really do too much with it. I have enough flint for flint and fire steels for myself. This is going to be really hard to get into, and there's a crack going through. But that's some pretty high quality flint right there, but it's only about that much. So if you wanted to make an arrowhead from this piece, you could. I'm not going to keep this. I'm going to toss it back. So another example of the flint inside the limestone, but that's very, very damaged. You can see it's damaged. I might bring... Yeah, I'm going to bring this home to try to split it. But for now, I want to check out this piece because this is a mystery to me. I don't know what this is. It might just be limestone. So I'm going to use this big one to try to knock an edge off here. And that is limestone. So this is a whole big block of limestone. And as I said, this stuff is sharp and it'll cut, but it, it dulls quickly. You could shape it. It's very tough. It's a ringy, which means it's a high quality limestone. You can use that to nap, but uh, I wouldn't waste my time with it considering I got this stuff. So I'm gonna toss this back and keep the rest. So I've been conserving that one rock that you threw at me. I rolled down the hill, went in the water. And uh, I've been really conserving that. I've made like five knives out of it so far. And I still have a chunk about that big. It's like a brick. But I've been, I've been like, oh god, I don't want to waste this rock because it's so, it's so pristine. It's the shale, it's the shale chert. And you just found two more huge boulders of it. So I'm very, I'm very, very happy with that.